Hi. How's everyone doing today? My name is Jasmine and I'm a professional makeup artist and I just wanted to do a little get ready with me, play around. Well, I'm not doing anybody's makeup lately, but you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. I hope everybody's having a good day. I know the weather's out nice and hot out here in California. So I love the summer, so I'm so excited. But I already did my eyebrows, filled them in. I use um, Miss Benefit herself uh, in the shade three. I just do a little fill in. All right, so I'm just gonna start priming my eyes. We're just gonna play around a little bit. I use the P. Louise base and Rumor 02. I'm just gonna put a thin amount of that all over my eyelid and go from there. Oh, I have to tell you guys a funny story. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna order a mirror so I can like look in it while I get ready instead of going like this all the time, right? <laughs> so I get it in the mail and guess what? <laughs> it's so little. Hi. But yeah, oh my gosh, you guys. This is kind of a funny joke, so I'm gonna use it because why not? I did order a big one, but sometimes they bamboozle you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, yeah. How's everybody doing? So I just like to put a thin amount. If I put too thick of amount, I end up getting creasing because you see these hooded eyes, they're hooded and small. So. You know, I got to try to pull a lot of tricks to try to get them big and not hooded, as hooded looking. So, <laughs> let's go. something can pad this brush um, this is a Mac 270 s you're gonna notice a lot of the brushes and well products I have is from Mac and it's because I you know worked there so um, I was there for a long time then I left then went back so it's a company near and dear to my heart <laughs> I learned so much there um, the people there you work with they teach you so much uh, you do so much makeup that you literally like have seen every single face shape you've seen every single eye style you've seen um it's just it's it's you learn a ton before that i was at clinique and that was awesome because i really got to know skincare and they have some pretty amazing products as well so so i have like a few things sitting here i have just like a little mac surprise surprise um just a few colors that I really like. And you know what? I think I might throw in a little bit of a Miss Jaclyn Hill. It's a pretty, I like that palette. I like that palette a lot, actually. Oh, shucks. Always dropping stuff in there. So I'll just take a lot of color from the Truly Madly Deeply Color Pop. I know I'm all over the place, you guys, but I'm just kind of like brainstorming right now. Um, kind of how I work. I don't usually go in with the plan. I just kind of do what I do. Um, and then I think I'm going to prime with the Tatcha. I also have the pore, the pri uh, the um, elf, elf one as well. That one works really good too. So whichever works for you guys. I just have it here. So I may as well use it. Plus I have to work today. So I need some longevity. So I'm just going to put like a thin amount press it into my face. I notice like when I rub on here, it looks I'm, like I'm so violent, but I promise you guys, I'm being gentle. I really do. So where are you guys from? What do you guys, tell me about you guys. If you guys have any makeup questions too, 
I love makeup questions. They're my favorite. I'm just really passionate about makeup, you guys. Like, this is something that, like, I eat, breathe, and live for. <laughs> Um, and each, if you notice every day I have swatches on my hands, it doesn't even matter if I'm working at a job that doesn't even have makeup, like before I go, I've got swatches, of course I wash my hands, but, um, you know, I just, it's just something I'm so passionate about. So, and hopefully you guys will be able to see that. So, all right. Okay. So I'm just going to put like, um, the lighter color underneath my brow and then I'm going to use a Mac to fit 17. Also, I just got this color switch which I'm so excited about because I had a blanket that I would put down and I just like, ugh. I know, I know you guys, I'm bad, I'm bad, but I'm working on it. That's what's important. <laughs> I should show you the blanket, but it's pretty embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, what am I saying? <laughs> okay. Um, where do I put my little mirror? Okay. So I'm just gonna put this light color again, this one here. My brow. Just want to highlight that brow bone. Also, when you guys, when I do my makeup, I'm a, I build. I'm a builder. I like to start light, kind of like do the framing, and then go ahead and finish up. What should we start with? This one or this one? Let's let's combine them. Let's combine them. I'm just gonna like this sweep. It's hard, kind of hard, huh? So I'm just gonna place it like right in here. I always like to dispense most of my product on the outer, the outer part. Like I always, if, so if I freshly dip in, I want to start on the outside. You don't want to go right into the inside because I feel like it's where a lot of your color deposits, and it can be kind of scary to blend. So. lay it down then we'll do the blending oh and you know what if you guys want to know what colors this is oh lord Fijian and rose before hose <laughs> I'm taking that 217 and then a clean brush just to dimension you guys because I don't have any dimension <laughs> so I'm trying to make dimension All right so with hooded eyes you, you have this area to work with part of my nails you guys I you know we're all going through it um, and then we have like up here to work with so you know we got to do what we got to do most people have like you know those like lids that they can just put 70 colors on and it just looks stunning or even one color and it looks just like if you spent like an hour on their makeup but um, so yeah, I like to live uh, out in here and then, um, I can, you know, if I'm feeling funky, <laughs> I'll go ahead and play up there. So So 
you know what? I'm actually going to take that 217. You know, there was a day, you know, you work at Mac and they, you got to do makeup all day with literally like four brushes. Got to make it happen. So you know what? Let's do it. Color switch it. Then we're going to take a little bit of a darker color. These are some more of my favorites. So like, yeah. So now I'm going to take brown script and then just it's a little bit of a darker color, but I'm gonna focus that mostly like towards this part, this section here, as, well, as you can see, you know, that outer V. So we're just kind of making that extending and kind of building and trying to make it pretend, seem like my eyelid is pushed out, if that makes sense. Now I'm just taking the plain brush and blending Back to the brown script on the other side. Just kind of living out here. Dispense most of that out there, you guys, and then you can um, just run it through and just, and just make sure you, you know, tie those colors together seamlessly. Um, and this side looks better than this side always, so I don't even try to fix it anymore. <laughs> Again, just placing it out here. All right. Okay, so then just take our little brush and do a little sweep over. A couple colors. Okay. So then. I'm gonna go ahead and darken out the outer corners. Um, and I'm gonna use the color Sketch, which is one of my, oh my gosh, favorite colors. It's like a, by MAC, it's just a it's Sketch. It's like a dark purple, but I just like use it with everything. And when you use it with other colors, it actually more ends up looking like a, like a mahogany brown. It's like really pretty, like you'll see. <laughs> So you guys, what I like to do, oops, I already loaded the brush, but okay. So what I like to do a little trick for hooded eyes. So this is like a pack, like a fluffy brush. Uh, what is this one? A 239, I want to say the numbers are off. I'm sorry. Um, but I like to just pack that color on and then go ahead and place it just right. Like, let me just show you guys stamp it just right there. Right. And you can extend it out a little bit because I do my foundation second start or last start that drives you guys crazy i know some people prefer a face first and then the eyes but i like to just clean it all up in one fair swoop so okay all right and so for the other side we're just gonna do the same thing and see i'm just placing it like that i know it looks scary at first but trust me i'm scared too it'll it will be okay you guys watch if you guys want to bring it up a tiny bit, go ahead, but I try not to because, I don't know, like I said, I like to layer, put the main stuff down, and then even when I put on my lashes and stuff, I'll even just kind of like do a little touch up too. You'll see. Um, so I'm going to blend that out. I'm going to take my 217 and just blend that out. If you guys want to extend out, you can. I'm more of like a round eye kind of girl. I mean, sometimes I extend it, but today I'm keeping it. And then whatever is left on that brush, just kind of take it and, you know, just make it all seamless. But like I said, make sure you dispense all this at the end because if you just drop went right in, it'd be a disaster, right? So, okay. And then we're gonna go on 
other side. So see how like most of our blending is done just because we already laid down those other two colors. So for me, that's easier. If it's easier for, you know, whatever way you do it, that's fine. But this is like what works for me. Right? And then we'll just, I know it looks a little scary still, but okay. And you know what, for fun, let's throw a little bit of um, like this reddish color to give it a little color. Hot sauce, H-A-U-T-E, sauce. And then just to add like a little color, I just like to like blend that in there, right? Like, you guys know you can't blend black and white, right? You need colors in between to kind of help the transition. If, well, if you don't want to break your arm blending. So again, I'm just gonna go over with the clean brush. This is a, oh shucks. I believe it's a 222 by Mac. How are we looking? Eh, better, okay. So 217 again, back in that little bit of a red color just to take this and just, you know, make it make more sense and blend together. Ooh, I have an idea. Okay, let's do this. This is in the um, MIDI mobs. And we're just gonna um, use this color. And I'm just gonna take like a flat brush. I'm just gonna use it on this side too. Okay. Then I'm gonna take my little blending brush. go in with my eyeliner <laughs> I just use the um, benefit the benefit one I also have a Mac one too but this is the first one I grabbed so So I've been using the same foundation for years now. It's just been the Max, MAC Fix Fluid. I have really, really dry skin. So if you guys know of anything like a good foundation, I like like a dewy finish. Um, I like a dewy finish. I don't like, it can be like medium to full. And, um, but yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know because I've been using fixed fluid for like, oh gosh, I'm scared to tell my age <laughs> for like a long time, 15 years, maybe 16. Okay. Do a little on the forehead. I mostly like to keep it in here though. Oh, you know what else I have? I got two. I just remembered. Oh my gosh. This Hollywood Flawless Filter. 
so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy I did not forget to use this. So I just put it here. I put it here. Put it here. Put it here. I'm a sound effects girl. Sorry, guys. <laughs> then I'm going to take my beauty blender. Never fails. Okay. I'm just gonna get her for a minute. And I'm just, oh my gosh. Whoa. This one, you guys, game changer. Like, if you haven't tried this, you need this. This is a glow within. Oh my gosh. I just picture this like somebody getting married and wearing this. You guys can put this under foundation, on top. I do both. <laughs> You'll see. Okay, so now that we're fairly. Oh, I like to take the Scott Barnes 6.5. This is, I know it's a contouring brush, but it is so nice. Look at that as a foundation brush too. You guys, I'm not really by the, the books. I mean, you know, to me, there's no rules to makeup. However you're feeling, you know, express yourself. You know, that's, that's, this is why I do it. This is why I'm here. This is how I express myself. This is how I release my stress. This is how I, I this is basically um, therapy for me. Like, I love doing my makeup. I love doing people's makeup even more. Um, it's just something I've always been so passionate about since I was young. You know how there are some people doing, you know, hair when they're young? Like, I always did everybody's makeup for prom, for, you know, whatever occasion I could. Um, I used to have this friend that would come over, she'd go out, um, and I would do her makeup, like, seriously, so many times a week, um, just for fun, you know? Okay, so I'm just gonna put that on there. We're looking okay, pretty blended. All right. Are you okay? Yeah. Then I am going to put a little bit of concealer on. And I just do, you guys, I don't overuse products. Oh, I say that and I'm probably putting a lot to you guys, but um, I think it's a shame, <laughs> you know? No one, you don't need that much, you know? I do have a little spot there that I like to cover. I just put a thin, just there you go, just to help brighten a little bit and then cover my, well, dark circles. And you guys, if you have too much on your, on your brush, you just right on the hand. Don't be afraid, just dig in. And there's nothing you guys can't fix. Like, seriously. And then sometimes I just take my, um, my thing, my sponge and just press it in. Why does everything look so violent on this? <laughs> I swear I'm being gentle. Okay. Okay. So then I'm going to put a little color under my eye. All right. So I'm just going to start same thing with these. I'm just going to start with the two colors I used or these two I used. And then I'll deepen it up with the color sketch underneath. I don't know what's better for you guys, but. smoke it out a little and then I'm going to take a little bit of sketch and run it underneath I'm going to do a little dip, kind of dippy poo okay, 
Boom. And yes, there is a little fallout. Can you guys see it? Right under there. So a little trick for fallout, you guys. Just take a little flat brush. 190, anything flat, you guys. Spray a little fix stuff on it. And, and just sweep it away. Brand new. Don't have to worry about fallout. Yay! One less stress <laughs> of makeup. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, now let's do a little contour. I have my KKW. That's what I have right now. So I just put, I like things that are quick. I'm a mother. I have things to do. I have a few jobs. I have, you know, school. So. Okay. Um, ooh, chefs. Okay. Let's blend this baby. Oh, and also, I really, let's see. Well, we'll get there. Okay. So, you guys, I like to just blend up and into, up and into, right? You don't want to go down. We're just using the top of this brush here and just. Right, same here. Back, brush it back. Oh, man, sorry guys. All right, I wanna move this up. And the lips. I'm done. That's fine, you put a light back there. Oh, my eyebrows are having to mind their own. Okay. I'm going to use my Chanel bronzer. If you guys have not tried this, it's a must. I tried so hard not to buy it because of the price point, but once you use it, oh my goodness, it just helps. And then again, I use the same 6.5 Scott Barnes brush. I bought this set. Well, first I bought them individually and then they came out with this set. So I got that too. So um, they are really nice brushes, you guys. I've used a lot of brushes and they're very nice. So I'm just placing it, you see, like kind of over where I, just to kind of help define bring back out my structure of my face more dimension all right here we go then we're gonna go in with a little blush warm soul by mac classic which i always have trouble with i don't know why i'm gonna take a mac 163 and i'm just gonna Put that on the apples of my cheeks and kind of blend it in and try to get it all to blend together. And then I'm going to take my little, I'm just going to kind of, I don't do a whole lot of nose contouring, but I do like to put a little there. To kind of help lift so if you guys have like how i have kind of like that you just want to put a little bit of a darker darker here so it kind of looks like it's non-existent so anywhere you want to almost be um pushed back or like hidden you put a little bit of a darker color there and it'll just kind of like give you the illusion that it's shadowed and not there so it's pretty awesome also hourglass they have a really nice ambient strobe light powder and um, I'm taking a MAC 240 and I, I really like this brush for highlight and things. Also again Scott Barnes has a great highlighting brush. I'll show you guys. I can do that next video but let's see.
like that. Charlotte Tilbury. Hollywood filter underneath. Ugh. I should have put it on top too before I did this. But you know what? I know rules. You're not supposed to put powder or whatever. Um, let's just put a little dab. Let's see what happens. What am I going to do? Ruin it? No. You can't really. You know, it's just. Just to add a little. So I'm actually going to add my lashes. Um, these lashes are by Anna Martini. And I hope I'm saying that right because her lashes are stunning. Um, right now I'm using Coquette. Um, I think there's also Shy Girl and what was the other one? Caliente. And you can get them in like a three pack bundle and it comes with like glue, which the glue works awesome. Oh, and it also comes with, with these. Um, I really, I really like these lashes. So I have small eyes. Um, and so it's hard to find lashes, you know, without them overpowering my eye or making them look like this big. Uh, so these are full and I just really like the way that they look. Um, I had to cut them, of course. I have, like I said, tiny eyes. So, um, cut them from the outside. Don't cut them from the inside. The inside's supposed to be short for a reason, um, because it's supposed to go in here. If you make it, sometimes if you cut on the inside, it just looks too, it looks weird, you guys. So, you know, make sure you're cutting the lashes from the outside. I usually do about two sections of it and that's about my eye size. I just put a gen, you know, good amount. Cause sometimes it'll bubble and the bubble will pop and then it'll get all over your lash. So, or maybe that's just me, I don't know. Put one on the glue on, let that dry, or, or let it sit a second. Same on this side. Let it sit. You know what, just for fun, so I'm gonna let those dry a little bit, get tacky, tacky. You wanna keep them tacky so that way they do not slide all over when you put them on. I'm gonna use the Jacqueline Hill palette. I'm gonna actually throw this color underneath my eye. It looks, I love this color. Where is she? Right there. This color, I also like to mix with this color. Like, so let's play around. I'm gonna put this one and then I'll put this one. I know I already put like that brown under, but hey, the more the better. The more blended it looks. I take the color Therapy Sesh it's pretty and I'm just gonna put it tap it don't forget don't forget to tap your tap I'm just gonna put that under just on this side cool. then I'm gonna put the uh, crazy sounds about right <laughs> yeah on top of that kind of smoke it out a little. Yes. And again, I'm using that pencil brush. And you can blow on yours, you just can't blow on anyone else's. Wait, that sounded bad. You know what I'm saying. If you're doing someone's makeup, please don't blow on their lashes or their face. It's very unprofessional. They're so stunning. Gosh. A lash can just perform miracles, can't it? 
what you see. So I like to just place it, like set it on your actual lash and then you take it, you pull, hook it on the inside, right? And then you make sure it's placed properly on the outside. Boom, boom, boom. Don't put it, if it's, poke, if it's poking you guys, you, it's not on right. Um, so redo it. You don't want to be uncomfortable. You don't have to be uncomfortable. Lashes are super comfortable. They can be super, super comfortable. I'm just checking, making sure we're good. Cool. There's that. And then you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to take a little bit of this, uh, the crazy color, and I'm just going to put it like on the outer a little, just to add like a little more color. And I'm going to take my 217. I'm just going to like place it on the outer. I'm just going to like bring it all together. Um, see? Oh, see the difference? Can you guys see the difference? And then of course I'm going to blend it. Or should I leave it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> And then for me, see how when I put on the lashes, how I can actually start kind of like building out a little better. And I can kind of see my structure, the structure I want to go better, uh, the direction I'm... Hopefully this makes sense, you guys. And then just take the blending brush and blend, blend, blend. Two seventeen, and then blend. Oh, I got a little fallout, but I could truly care less about fallout because I can fix it. So can you? <laughs> Put a little more on this side because I don't think it's even. I just stamp. I feel like the trick to these, some of these shadows, um, are to kind of stamp on instead of just like you just want to do stamping motions now I'm just going to take a clean brush and go over all of it and just make sure we're, it's seamless okay so I don't know if you guys can see the fallout I can see it oh it's mostly on this side can you guys see it right there? So again, I'm gonna take my flat brush. I'm gonna spray my Fix Plus, get a little damp, and then just wipe it clean. What fall out? All right. So I'm gonna do the inner third inner corner of my eyes and my lips, and then we'll be done. I'm gonna take my Coastal and put it on the inner part of my eye. to take um, Iconic Nude Lip Liner by KKW. <laughs> I 
this pencil's been through it. Oh my gosh. I literally have to like flick it out. I know I should just sharpen it, you guys, but whatever. It has more personality this way. I just like to like darken like the outer. <laughs> it's time for a new one. Okay, you guys, I get it. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bingo. There we go. Yay. Okay, and then I'm going to take this color, Friend Like Me. It's the Aladdin collection by Mac. <laughs> I don't think they still have it. I'm sorry you guys don't come for me, but I like this color and I had it handy, so. All right, you guys. This side still just needs to be. Oh, and I need to put a little mascara. You guys, this KKW mascara, it's on hit, you guys. It's good stuff. I'm just to see the difference. Again, I do what I am gonna do though, because it's hot outside. Um, I don't powder because I'm that dry. Um, um, actually, sometimes I'll do like a quick veil just to help blend everything, but I don't bake. So I have Laura Mercier. Oopsie. I think that's the third time. It wouldn't be a video without it, I'm sure. I'm just gonna take a little bit and just dust it lightly under here. Sometimes my mascara likes to touch under here. And then I'm just gonna take a, I don't know, just any fluffy brush. And just kinda, not much powder, I am dry enough. Okay, cool. Can't forget the setting spray. Cherries. Okay. All right. And that is it, you guys. Do you guys like it? <laughs> I don't know. I hope you guys like it. All right. Well, if you guys like this look, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day.